let us come back and do the next reaction that is your nucleophilic addition reaction with involves loss of oxygen till now we have done the nucleophilic addition reaction what do we see we have done with ammonia and ammonia derivatives that is your phenyl hydrazine hydrazine semicarboxide okay semicarboxide we'll be doing now and uh, we've also seen how is water molecule eliminated every time now let us come back and do the last three reactions of nucleophilic addition reactions now, now when I speak about PCL5, phosphorus pentachloride, we have done this in haloalkanes and haloarenes. I think, hope you have uh, gone through the, those videos. So, whenever you see PCL5, okay, <coughs> first let us see uh, uh, this particular PCL5, what happens when it reacts with aldehyde and what happens when it reacts with the ketone. Yeah, so I said whenever we see PCL5, just remember, write PCL5 in this way. Cl, 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 Cl and 5. Right? Now PCL5 I'm writing it here. Now observe carefully. First important thing you have to lose or this oxygen has to be eliminated. That is what we have written loss of oxygen. So <coughs> observe this comes out as POCl3. First important thing is it comes out as POCl3. In both the cases it comes out as POCl3. Right. Now, what else is left? You are left with only two chlorines, isn't it? These two chlorines are going to go and attach to with this carbon. How does this look? Carbon, your CH3, your H, Cl and Cl. Correct? Yes. Here also same thing. C, CH3, your CH3, your Cl and Cl. Now, this chlorine is attached to the same carbon. That is why they are called as geminal halides what are they called if the clo if the halogen or if it is attached to the same carbon it is called geminal if it is attached to two carbons one here and other here then it is called vicinal halides so these are called gem halides what is this gem halide now it is attached to the same carbon one two dichloro what is this uh, this in right it is it is derived from ethanol head right so you can write it as 1 to dichloro gem ethanaldehyde or geminal halide right so i'll write this as geminal halide which position is this it is present in 1 and 2 now here when i uh, speak this also is geminal halide because it is present in the same carbon correct so it's going to form gem halides or geminal halides attached to the same carbon then let us speak about semicarboxide. What is semicarboxide formula? Now, semicarboxide is NH2 on both the sides. In the center, you have CO and NH. Remember, this is semicarboxide. Now, if I am going to add semicarboxide to your aldehyde, H, if you am adding semicarboxide to your ketone, CH3, I am going to add H2, N, CO, NH and H2. As I said, it's going to eliminate water molecule here. It's going to eliminate water molecule and directly attach to the carbon. Double bond is existing. Please see that. You have CH3, C, H, double bond. Now observe N. Water H hydrogen is gone. N, CO, NH, NH2. Here also same thing. CH3, C, your CH3. Carbon double bond is still existing. N C O N H and H two. Now this is called semicarbazone. So what is this? This is acetaldehyde, isn't it? Acetaldehyde semicarbazone. Good night like this. Acetaldehyde semicarbazone. This also this is what proponone semi carb zone that's it this is your semi carb zone right so remember we have done t uh, 24 dnp isn't it 24 dnp test from hydrazine to hydrozones what is the test used for 24 dnp is used for identification of aldehydes and ketones in your practical experiments right now like that there's one more test where we are going to prepare shift space what is this test used for basically aldehydes and ketones also react with shifts uh, means with primary means but your aldehyde will respond faster with shifts reagent right that shifts reagent where you get a magenta pink color if an aldehyde is present in that particular 
फंक्शन ग्रुप होती है और ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड सो लेट एस सी प्राइमरी अमीन होप यू अंडरस्टूड द स्पी सी एल थ्री ट्राई टू राइट पी ओ सी एल थ्री होप यू अंडरस्टूड द सेमी कार्बोजाइड यू टेक आउट वाटर एंड प्रिपेयर सेमी कार्बोजोन डबल बॉन्ड स्टिल एग्जिस्टिंग नाउ विथ प्राइमरी अमीन सपोज आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ कार्बनिल कंपाउंड लाइक दिस आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ प्राइमरी अमीन एच टू प्राइमरी अमीन इज दिस राइट nitrogen with one alkyl group and two hydrogens as primary amine so let us write primary amine now what happens you your water molecule is eliminated because these reactions are involving elimination of oxygen water so what else is left your carbonyl group with your <coughs> double bond n and r this is your shift space please remember this is your shift space now what is as i said this what is the role now here it can be any alkyl group r prime r2 and this is one more this group this particular c double bond n here it was c double bond o that c double bond o is replaced by the c double bond n we call that as shift space basically shift space is in use for identification of as i said aldehyde as soon as you add aldehyde to this shift space it's going to change or it's going to form a magenta pink color which indicates that aldehyde is present in that particular organic compound right Re ketone also reacts but you know not so fast as this particular shift space so if we write with ketone how does this look now ch3 ch3 co I means uh, compared to this this is faster what a molecule c <coughs> Your CH3 is here. One more CH3 is here. Double bond, and this is important, isn't it? This is important for shift space. Yes, and your alkyl group and water. This is your shift space reaction with uh, ketones and aldehydes. So please practice it. Hope you have understood nucleophilic addition reactions as well as nucleophilic addition involving loss of oxygen in the form of water. Every time I'm trying to remove water, so that I'm going to, uh, so that I've uh, involved the loss of oxygen.